Hi there and welcome to the ADK Rock and Metal channel. My name is Kirk. I thought I'd do something a bit different for this video. Let's look back at the best metal and rock album releases from the month of June 2023. The month got off to a momentous start on the 2nd of June with the release of the album from London mathcore favourite People Slicer, who released their sophomore record Blossomed via Prosthetic Records. Now, some of you were worried about this album because the title track came out in advance and showcased quite a radical departure for the band with a foray into alternative rock. It sounded similar to placebo and garbage. You've nothing to worry about. This is one of the heaviest records you will hear all year. It takes the best of mathcore, the best of prog metal, the best of shoegaze and blends them into a remarkable extreme metal package with heartfelt vocals, unhinged screams and mind-bending, honestly, fucking mind-bending musicianship. Listen to track number three, Departure in Solitude, and you'll understand what the fuss is about. Easily a contender for album of the year. On the same day, we also saw the release of the sophomore album from Greater Manchester Thrash Prodigy's Tortured Demon. Their new album is called Rise of the Lifeless, and it's a self-release. This band turned heads in 2021 when they released their debut record while still in secondary school. Honestly, you will not believe that most of these lads are still in their teens. Imagine Machine Head, Hypocrisy and Exodus slicing through your speakers with husky vocals and crunchy guitar riffing. The energy on this album is infectious. Some of you will remember these boys destroying the stage. Literally, they broke the stage at Bloodstock 2022 where they sold all the merchandise in a matter of hours. The future of English thrash metal is safe in the hands of Joe and Jacob Parkinson of Tortured Demon. 9th of June saw the release of two interesting records from Norway and no, they were not black metal albums. Grant the Sun released Voyage via Maskina Recordings. This is a strange concoction of noise rock with the complex timings of Meshuggah and even their low tunings. Indeed, Frederick Tordendal played bass on this band's 2019 EP. You can hear Ken Mold, My Bloody Valentine and Mastodon among the prog metal leanings, as well as a splash of post metal and even jazz. Have you ever wondered what a heavy metal daydream might sound like as you idle away your time watching the waves crash against the shore? Now's your chance to experience it. The second Norwegian release is the debut EP from Hardcore Quartet Split by called 404 Ends. They released it on the 9th of June via Loyal Blood Records. Jesus Christ, this is heavy. Think of Not Loose, Vision of Disorder and Employed to Serve in a Royal Rumble. This is Thinking Man's Hardcore for Metalheads and you'll love every minute, I promise you, of the ferocious action. Give it a spin, five tracks, spread over 14 minutes, it is well worth your time. The London metal scene has some blistering metal bands that get nowhere near enough attention. Perhaps no artist personifies this better than The Bleeding, who released their new album, Monocrator, on the 9th of June by a redefining Darkness Records. Album number three follows 2019's classic Morbid Prophecy. Do you like thrash metal? Do you like death metal? Of course you do. Slayer and Destruction fans will love this as much as Carcass and Creator fans. Vocalist Jamie Stungo must have the fastest vocal delivery in death metal yet. His enunciation is very clear, there's a lot of clarity in his words. This is a fucking depraved album, but it also has grooved and a warped sense of humour, even if most lyrics seem to be one big erotic death fantasy. You can chug on that air guitar and feel like you've donated your body to science at the same time. June also saw the release of the new album from Hungarian avant-garde metal leaders Thy Catafalque. They released Aufeld via Season of Mist on the 16th of June. What more can we say about the talent and vision of Tomasz Kapoi? This man's work is a true successor to the pioneering experimentation of Celtic Frost and Edge of Sanity. You might think you've tuned into the wrong LP after three tracks because it's straight up extreme metal. The wild experimentation emerges around track four and then embraces everything from Magyar folk to symphonic metal to imperious classical arrangements all under the umbrella of a blackened death metal aesthetic. Wow. Those of you that love 2021's Vadak album will be astonished to learn that this one is even better. The imagination and coherence of Alfold will remind you of Igor's last record. Buy it now. 
Okay, so I'm wearing the t-shirt. Let's not forget the new album from Hertfordshire Progressive Deathcore Quartet, Vexed. They released their much-anticipated sophomore album, Negative Energy, on the 23rd of June via Napalm Records. Vocalist and lyricist Megan Target, arguably the most interesting personality in contemporary English metal. This band play eight-string guitars like Humanity's Last Breath and Alpha Wolf and Groove like North Lane. The album drops some of the more progressive textures of the group's excellent 2021 debut and replaces them with a darker introspection. This is a dark record. It reminds me of Korn's Disturbing Life is Peachy album from 1996 with a higher level of technical musicianship. You need to, lead to listen to this album for the lyrics alone. Megan rallies against sexism in metal, nepotism in the entertainment industry, religious extremism, coercive control. She also includes a heartfelt tribute to her late grandfather on a song called It's Not The End. Any of you that have lost a loved one recently will recognize the pain in this song. I don't even know what to call Vex after this album. Are they deathcore, metalcore, gent, groove metal, new metalcore? Who cares? This is a powerful record. London also produced a sensational hardcore death metal mashup on the 23rd of June with the debut album from Burner called It All Returns to Nothing, released via Church Road Records on the 23rd of June. They take the muscle and heavy downpicking of hardcore and the malevolence of death metal and fuse them together like terror and venom prison. You might feel like you've been thrown into a cold shower and then hosed down in blood, but this is one of the most enjoyable pieces of extreme metal bludgeoning you will hear all year. The South London Quartet play the Castle Tavern in Luton on the Friday the 28th of July in support of Caligram. Check them out, buy the merch, purchase the vinyl and CDs. This is a band with a bright future. You can survive 33 minutes of eyebrow singeing ferocity, right? Of course you can and you can enjoy it as well. And finally, I'd like to mention something a bit more left field for those in search of something bizarre. Check out the new two-track EP from Rainer Landfermann called Mehr Licht. It's a self-release that came out on the 23rd of June and the best way to describe it is extreme metal with minimal guitars, luscious electronic arrangements and eviscerating extreme metal vocals. You'll hear Depeche Mode, Arcturus, Frank Zappa and John Zorn's Naked City at various points in this music. This is fucking weird, but it's compulsive listening. Rainer is the bassist in German tech death band Pavor. This EP is a follow-on from his 2019 album, Mein Wut in Deiner Dunkelheit. So that's it. Thanks for tuning in today. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel. I can bring more of this content to you if you think this is going to be useful, where I give a summary of last month's best releases in the worlds of rock and metal. I hope you found this useful, and I hope you go and check out some of these records. Thank you. Take care.